In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the video camera within the Chromebooks and saving that video that you create to YouTube and then inserting it into the Adobe Spark page. So to launch your apps on a Chromebook, just click on the magnifying glass on the keyboard or in the bottom left corner, there's a circle. Find the NREC, the native recorder. If it doesn't show up on your home screen like mine, just click on all apps and you might have multiple pages of apps. And once you find it, just click on it. Adjust your screen how you want to video. And when you record your video, just press start recording. Now I'm recording my video and I'm, I'm doing stuff on here. I'm going to show you a story. I'm going to video whatever I need to for my Adobe Spark page project. When I'm done, I press stop recording and then I click on save video. Notice that it pops up over here on the right hand side in the bottom corner that it, it has been saved. So I'm just going to click on this show in folder. And now it automatically goes to the downloads. So what you want to do is drag it over to your My Drive. Now, if you have a folder set up, you can click on the arrow beside your My Drive and find the folder that you want to use. And then just drag the video into the appropriate folder. Now that the video is in the right folder, you can close out this downloads thing. I'm going to close out the native recorder and now I'm going to go down to my bottom shelf and I'm going to click on the YouTube app. Once it goes to YouTube, there is um, an upload button in the top right corner and you're going to click on upload. You're going to select your files to, down, or to upload just by clicking on the red button. And then you're going to find the folder that you had saved it in. I still have it in my downloads, so I could grab it from my downloads or I could go into my drive and I could find where I put it. The big reason that you want to be putting it into your my drive is because when you go back and you want to use a document or a video or whatever it might be, you don't want it in the downloads because that um, um, it won't be available to you unless you're on the same Chromebook. So I'm going to find my video. Here's my video today at 2.20 and it's the end recorder. And now I'm going to open it up. And now it's processing my video. I'm going to click on publish right now. So in that way, when it's done processing, it will automatically publish my video. Once it publishes my video, then it goes straight to this share. And then I have the option to select this text, copy it. So just copy the share link just by clicking control C after it's been highlighted. And now I'm going to put this into my Adobe Spark page project. So I'm just going to open up another tab. I'm going to go over here to the Chinook bookmarks in the top left corner. Go to Adobe Spark. Now that I'm in Adobe Spark, if you're not already logged on, there'll be a sign in in the top corner. I'll just show you how that looks right now. I'm already logged on, but I'll just log out. Now, if you're over 13 years old and you're on a Chromebook, just click on the Start Now for free, orange button. Click on the login with Google option because when you're logged on to a Chromebook, it's already going to link your account. Um, it will ask you to have offline access. That's fine. Allow that. And then once you get on here, then you can create or edit your page. Now, if this is your first time creating, logging on with your yeah. Google account, you will have to verify your birth date. If this is your first time logging on with your Google account, 
then your screen will probably look something like this. And if it's not your first time logging on to get to that screen, we just click on this orangish yellow button. And now I'm showing you how to embed this video in a page. So we click on the page. So put in your title. So my page, obviously you would put in more information. We don't want to give away our full name. You can add a photo to the background if you want. And then scroll to start writing your story. I could have done that already to begin with. So now when I click on this plus sign, I have options. One of them is a video. I can also do a glide show and put a video over top of that. If you watch my um, instructional video on how to create the page, I walk through how to do the glide show with the video on top. But I'm thinking you already know how to do that. So now I'm going to just select video on here. It says, what's the YouTube address? So I've already copied it. Now I'm gonna control V to paste it. Press save. And now there's my video. Now when I wanna share this with my teacher, I'm just going to click on share. And up in the top middle, make sure that my title makes sense. Choose my category, education. If I want, I can turn my author on, but just make sure that it's just your first name and your first initial of your last name. Now where it says get noticed here, just turn that to off and then create unlisted link. Now it automatically makes your link and now you just click on email. And when you're logged on with a Chromebook, it's automatically gonna go to your Chinook Google account. So now let's say my teacher was Christy Robinson. I just start typing Christy in and there she is. So all of Chinook is in here. If I want to give her more information, I can, but otherwise I can just press send. And now I'm done. So that was creating a video of yourself, uploading it to YouTube, putting it in your Adobe Spark page, and then emailing your Adobe Spark page project to your teacher. So hopefully that helps you out.